is Fox 5 News at 10, local Las Vegas. Jobs and cheaper electricity bills are coming to the Valley. Hello, I'm Stephanie J. Senator Harry Reid announced a new solar energy facility will be built just south of Henderson. Fox 5's Jen Steven joins us with more on these plans and what's happening, Jen. Plans to start construction on a new solar manufacturing facility in the Valley will not only put people to work, but will make Nevada a world leader in clean energy. This is News 3 Nightside at 11 with Gerard Romalo. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. A California-based company is getting ready to put hundreds of Southern Nevadans to work, offering a variety of so-called green jobs. Senator Reid, a busy guy this weekend, he flipped the switch today at a new solar power facility in Henderson. It was built with federal stimulus dollars. Uh, many people, as Pat mentioned, are not aware of the cost of, of energy that's involved in treatment and pumping water uh, into the valley. And so this um, project helps us so much to lower those costs. Aminex has been a great partner, and in fact, um, we appreciate their technology and what they have brought to our valley. And especially in this difficult economy, the jobs that are brought here and will be brought here, we appreciate very much. Over the years, we have appreciated the funding that we've received through the EPA. We've been very uh, fortunate to have a great partnership with the e EPA as we move forward in our environmental initiatives. Most recently, as Pat mentioned, we did an energy audit at our Alfred Merritt Smith project, and we have found that we are going to be able to save 3.5 million kilowatt hours through that energy audit. That, uh, that amount of kilowatt hours powers 200 homes. From an EPA perspective, this really represents the future. Um, it, it represents technology that I heard over drinking some of the delicious water from the tap was brought down from satellites. Uh, this was developed for the space program. We're now implementing it. Uh, and, and, and this really provides a vision to people about what the future can hold. Many people think about solar power. They think about what it can look like on their rooftop. Um, but very few understand that the future of solar power and renewable energy largely is going to be in this state and in Arizona. That's when you think about where the sunshine is, this is where it is. And so these kind of projects show us what can be done on a utility scale. The amount of power here is really starting to be significant. A uh, huge amount of energy in, in across the United States goes into moving water from one place to another and to cleaning the water at the end of the day. These kind of solutions should be done everywhere. This manufacturing plant is really significant. What we're doing is hundreds of jobs. Now these people that are with this plant that's going to come here, it's, it's here as a result of about a nine million dollar tax credit that was part of the Recovery Act. These, these hundreds of people will be working here will create jobs other places throughout uh, Nevada. We have a lot of things going with green energy in Nevada. Take a trip if you just want to glance at something that's unique. Go to Railroad Pass, drive out towards Searchlight, look out on Dry Lake. That doesn't, <clears throat> doesn't look dry anymore. It looks like there's huge bodies of water out there. There's solar, pan solar panels, a million of them that are being placed there to create electricity for tens of thousands of homes. Mesquite, we just got word there that we're going to build a gas-fired, solar-fired generating facility there. It'll create a thousand high-paying union jobs. We know that there are other great things going on, not the least of which is part of the, the first part of the smart grid. Jared, the per first part of the smart grid is in Nevada, which is a power line between southern Nevada and northern Nevada, which will make energy independence for Nevada a reality in about three years, something we've been trying to do since we've become a state. So there are all kinds of good things coming, and we know that we can't depend forever on the gambling industry and leisure time business, although it's going to continue to thrive and do well. Mining is good, but the one thing that we haven't looked to in the past is green energy. And we've got a lot of it here and we'll continue to develop. Nevada will benefit uh, from this renewable energy revolution that's starting right behind us, really first and foremost by getting clean and affordable energy, secondly by jobs. 
Uh, each one of these panels is going to be constructed here in Nevada uh, by people that really need work. So in this economy where jobs are foremost, these are the kind of jobs that pay well, uh, they're in the community, and they really support a sustainable future. So clean energy, jobs, and ultimately lower bills and less reliance on foreign oil. So it's a national security issue. Every single panel that goes up here is less of a reason that we need to get oil from somewhere else. So it's a win-win, and we're really thrilled that the Southern Nevada Water Authority is taking the lead to really push renewable energy within the Southwest. Tell us what the benefit is of having this kind of technology here at a water treatment facility or a public facility. Um, well, since we're at a water treatment facility, we'll start with water. These units use no water in the generation of their electricity, so that's different than other types of concentrating solar technologies, and we think the no water use is a very big deal in a desert environment. Uh, the second, it's, a, it's an excellent technology for desert environments because it concentrates the light. So in areas where you have a high number of days of the year where there's, where there's direct sunlight, you want to choose a concentrating technology and, and one that doesn't use water. So uh, the third thing I think that's important in environmentally sensitive zones in the desert where there's tortoises and squirrels and other endangered species is it sits on a pedestal. So unlike conventional solar panels that you see taking up a whole field or all the land, these um, don't consume the land and the animals can still kind of roam freely. Um, so, and then fourth, is it's starting to be uh, cost competitive with certain types of fossil generation. So, you know, first and foremost, it has to be cost effective and, you know, no water usage, better, more efficient land usage. I, I think those are the other key benefits.